Hello, I'm Katharina Seidler from Resource Yourself and today I want to share a few thoughts about the power behind the illusion. First, uh, let's look at what an illusion is. Uh, I love the definition by Rupert Spira that it is something that uh, exists uh, but is not what it appears to be. And the first thing com that comes to my mind is that we often confuse this with something not being existent. Uh, so we, we will say, oh, you're scared of something. Well, that isn't real. There isn't any real danger. And we'll argue why the other person doesn't have to be scared. But for them, it is very, very real. So what does it mean there's an illusion in it? At any given moment, we have uh, a set of experiences. There may be a thought that we think, and there may, there may be a sensation in the body, and there can be an emotion about something and the story about it. So we experience all of these things in that specific moment, and that is our reality. And what tends to happen is that we think that the world is the way we experience it. Uh, and that this is what we have to base our actions on. And that gets really complicated first when people have different realities, different experiences of the same reality. And second, when we suffer, when our reality is something that is um, ex an experience of lack, of pain, of uh, not being enough. And that's when the definition of illusion becomes really interesting and knowing that in some sense, anything and everything that we perceive is an illusion. And it's not to say that it's not real because it's very real, but we have uh, a choice in this. Um, it means that our perception is subjective and that all these things that come up in our awareness the feelings, the sensations, the thoughts, the story, uh, they can be changed. And when they change, our reality changes. So let's say uh, I'm thinking of a client who was really scared about going through tunnels and being in tight spaces. And she would come to the sessions and explain to me that it really is dangerous. And she would find the... Uh, newspaper articles about it and give me numbers and in my awareness there was never any information about this that even came up until she brought it up um, so it's important really at the point when we suffer when we don't want to experience this reality then there's a chance that we can let go of these thoughts these sensations uh, this appraisal of the situation and we have to know that we always let go of the small for the bigger. If we have fear and we let go of fear, then maybe we can expand into uh, a state of anger. Maybe we're angry because we always experience this. And anger includes all the good sides of fear, but it also has a strong power to move forward. And then from anger, maybe we move into courage and we say, well, no use always being angry. I want to do something about it and I'll just focus on what I can do. And each of these states we uh, expand into includes all of the previous, but uh, is a bigger context or allows for more resources and for more options. And this can even happen on the level of love. Maybe at some point we realize that loving can be painful for us and that there has to be something beyond love. And there is. As we progress into states of more oneness, there's always something to let go of. At some point, maybe we can let go of the idea that we exist because we think. But most of us will never have or don't have or haven't had these experiences, who knows, in these changing times, uh, everything that can happen. But um, we have to know, and that is where the power lies, that what we experience is just an experience. It's not who we are. 
So if my experience is that I feel so much pain because I love so much and it's not returned, uh, or because uh, I feel um, sad about a loss or how the world is at this moment, I can change this. If I think that I'm a mentally ill person, I can let go of this illusion and recognize that I'm so much more. If I think that I'm not worthy, I can let go of that part of my experience and open up to different experiences. And sometimes, often, other people help us because they do see our value more than we do ourselves. So <clears throat> when we let go of one of these thoughts or ideas or of a feeling in the body, then there's like an inflow of energy um, it sometimes feels like an uplifting or an expansion. We get lighter. For me, expansion is a really good word. And uh, all of a sudden, we can have a wider perspective. And as we progress on this path, uh, we move into oneness and the experience of it. So where's the power behind um, behind the illusion, it's the fact that you know that anything you experience, you can change. Uh, and that you are much, much more than what you experience at any given moment. And the question is, how far are you willing to let this reality come into your experience? Those are my thoughts about the power behind the illusion. I would love to know yours. Give me a like if you like this, share uh, and come join the Reconnective Life community because that's where we discuss these things, share about it and um, enjoy experiences that help us grow and uh, expand beyond the illusions that some of us have known for so long. Thank you for listening and bye for now.